Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a tutorial on this look here. I recreated a look that Sam Kuzami done. He's an amazing makeup artist. So I done this look uh, without the glitter liner and then I also done it with it just so you can see some options. So this is without and this is with the glitter liner. So if you'd like to learn how to create this look, then carry on watching. Now I decided to do my eyebrows off camera so I just went in with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard and I just used that to conceal under my eyebrows just to sharpen them up. Then once I'd done that I applied the concealer all over my eyelid. This is going to be my eye base for today and I just pressed that in using my F10 brush from Ronya. And then we're going to set it very very lightly with a bit of translucent powder. So for today's eye look, I'm going to be using my Be Perfect uh, Collaboration Clientele Palette. This is what it looks like if you haven't seen it. And these are the colors we'll be using today. So we have Sandy as our first, Dirty Tan as our second, and our third is a mix of Too Much and Brownie. So going in with our first color, which is Sandy, this is going to be our transition. I'm just going to pat that through the upper crease and then give it a little bit of a blend. Then we're going to do the other side so just pat that color on and then give it a little little blend now we're going to go in with our second color which is dirty tan this is one of my favorite favorite browns i'm going to work this through the socket and then ever so slightly wing it out towards the end then we're going to start working in our darker color and i switch to a smaller brush just because i want this color to be very concentrated in the socket only I don't want it to blend out too far so using a small brush is important all right so we're going to get up to the fun part now now it's time to create our liner so I first like to draft with a dark brown eyeshadow I just use too much from the palette and we're going to start drafting out our wings so I prefer to do this as opposed to going straight in with a gel or a liquid liner and kind of just guessing where I'm putting it. At least if you draft it first you know exactly what it's going to look like. Now for the eyelid we're going to mix a bit of bronzy and the tiniest bit of hot spot. It depends if you want it to be more bronzy or if you want it to be more coppery. I try to be as exact as his picture so I had to mix the two and because you've got your outline your draft liner you know exactly where to put that shimmer as well so it's a good guideline okay so now we are applying a bit of gel liner on the lash line because we're going to do a bit of a smoky wing so I'm just uh, smoking it out with too much which is the dark brown from the eyeshadow palette and I do recommend doing one eye at a time because gel liner set very quickly so you just do one eye and then you do the other eye later on now I'm applying too much into the outer V and then the other side I'm using a very very small bullet brush okay so now we're going in with the hard stuff we're going in with gel eyeliner but it's going to be easy because we already outlined our shape using that dark brown eyeshadow so all we need to do is just follow it So once I got to the inner part, because it was more curvy and I was using an angled brush, I found I had to switch to a different eyeliner brush um, and then I and also for the outer end too because my angled brush will probably be a bit too big. So I'm filling in that tail and then once I applied that I'm going to blend the edges with too much, the dark brown eyeshadow. And then I'm going to uh, touch up with some black eyeshadow, which is from the eyeshadow palette as well. Okay, so now I'm just going to end it with a wipe and I'm using my nail to kind of just to wipe the tip, make it more pointed and sharper. Then I'm going to apply some mascara. Some 
Starting on my base, I'm using MAC Strobe Cream as my base primer. I'm using the color Peach Light. I also like Original as well. So I'm just blending that in with my fingers. Then for foundation, I'm using Sema Kuzami's foundation. This is his own cosmetic line and it's amazing. I use this in my kit and also on myself. It's definitely one of my top for bridal because for bright you need it to last like from early morning to night time and this foundation is just flawless. So I'm just using a petal brush and I'm going to apply a layer all over the face and then I'm going to go in with Sama Kazami's Kabuki brush and press that all in. gonna do a little bit of cream contour I'm just using a darker shade of foundation so I'm going on the forehead down the nose and along the jawline and then the leftovers on my cheekbones then we're going to stipple that in with our foundation brush that we used earlier and then a little lab brush down the nose. I don't use any specific brush. I kind of just grab whatever's closest. Now we're going to conceal under the eyes. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape in the color Light Medium. Just a few dabs um, under the eye to give a bit of brightening as well. And we're going to blend that in with a sponge. Now we're going to set that into place. We want to do some heavy baking today. I'm using the Fenty Banana Powder. Now the reason why I wanted to do heavier baking today is because I really wanted my base to look very doll-like. So I packed it on and also underneath my contour as well. Now this powder sets very quickly so underneath my contour you can see I wiped it away very quickly and that's because it sets quickly and if I leave it on for too too long it will create a sharp line under my contour. But I mean like the bad version of a sharp line. So while my under eyes are still setting, I'm going to line my bottom and my top lash line using a black gel eyeliner. And then I'm going to bronze up. I think I'm using a MAC mineralized powder in Sun Power. So I'm pretty much just applying that everywhere I cream contoured and then I'm going to further contour uh, the hollows of my cheeks using an uh, actual contour product. So this is the Sama Kuzami face palette. I'll leave all the products in the info bar. And then a little bit down the nose. I always use a light pressure when blending on the nose because it will just go muddy and we don't want that to happen. Then we're going to chuck on some blush. This was also from the face palette from Sama Kuzami. You get like a highlighter, a contour and a blush in like one palette. Now we're going to press away our bake using a powder puff. If you haven't tried this way of removing bake then you need to try it but you have to press it away. You can't, you can't uh, blend it or like scrape it or mush it around. It has to be patting. And then we're going to highlight, we're going to highlight a little bit on the cheeks, um, the higher part and down the bridge of the nose and the tip of the nose. Going back to the eyes, we're going to smoke the lower lash line. I'm just using the same colors we used in the crease, so starting with the dark color, which is too much, the dark brown. And then I'm going to warm up the under eye using Dirty Tan next. And it also blends out too much just so it doesn't look like too dark. And then we're going to apply some mascara. For lower lash line, I do like using the L'Oreal Telescopic because the brush is very, very thin. And that way I don't get concealer on my skin. I mean, not concealer, sorry, mascara on my skin. Now we're going to pop on some false eyelashes. I'm using Ronya Makeup House Lashes in the style Viv. It's my favorite natural lashes to use. In Sama Kazami's picture, it looked like they were very natural, nothing too dramatic or overpowering. So I wanted to keep it the same. And I just applied some mascara over them as well. 
Going to the lips, I'm going to be lining my lips using Sweet Tea from Morphe. I use this lip liner a lot. And then over top, we're using a ColourPop lipstick. It's in the color Dream, I think. I have it down in the info bar. It's a really nice new with a very slight peach tone to it. All right, now so the fun part is the glitter liner. I use the Be Perfect, um, what is it called? The Glamour Glitter Liquid Eyeshadow in the color Jewels. It's like a gold coppery color. And I just put that on the back of my hand and I use a more tinier brush to apply it. So as you can see, I'm just applying it um, above the black line. It was so hard to try and do it and like not cover the camera too much because I wanted you guys to see how I, how I was doing it. It was so hard. Alright, so here is the completed look from before to after. I hope you guys really enjoyed uh, this tutorial. It's definitely one of my favorite looks I've recreated of someone else's. I think it really suited my eyes. So yeah, if you guys liked it, please like, share and subscribe. And um, yeah, I'll catch you in my next video. Bye guys.